Hey peeps, Paji here from GameStone. Now today I wanted to show you guys how you can actually connect your PSVR 2 to your laptop. Me myself, I struggled quite a bit in the beginning because I bought like an HDMI to display port cable for it before. Uh, it didn't work at all, so make sure you don't buy a cable like this here. So yeah. Now the other thing is also, you do need to make sure that your laptop supports it, that it's a gaming laptop. Uh, don't just go sticking it in or trying it with like, with like a normal laptop because your graphics card is not going to be strong enough. So you have to have like at least like the bare minimum. I think it was like an RDX 2060 or something if I'm not mistaken there. And then actually the next thing that's really going to be important, you have to make sure that you have a USB-C connection with the display port logo on the side. Now I'm going to show you here, this is basically what it looks like. So it has to have like this D sign with a P inside of it. That means your display port. If you have that and you have a good graphics card, then you're not going to have any problems to connect it to it. Now me, myself, I am rocking with an NVIDIA RDX 4080 graphics card in it, a 175 watt version. It's also a really good and strong graphics card for a laptop here. Now the first thing you're going to need is of course the PSVR2 adapter doesn't work without it you're basically gonna need it to like convert it from your PSVR 2 to your laptop and then the other thing that's gonna be really important you're gonna need is actually a display port cable 1.4 so a DP 1.4 and it has to be it has to go to USB-C now it can be any any simple one it has to be the DP 1.4 it's actually the 8k version of it that's really the one you're gonna need to your USB-C cable if you're gonna try it with another cable, it might not work or you're connect you might have like connection problems like this, you know, so make sure you buy one of those cables here. Now you do need to install the PSVR2 app on your laptop. And then once you've done that and you started up everything and everything works fine, so you will be connected to the Steam shop. Now you do also need to install the Steam VR app in inside of your Steam shop. Once you've basically done all of those things, you're ready to actually go and play. Now about the connection, I'm using Bluetooth 5.4, it's actually really good, it's uh, the latest connection that I had, I bought this laptop this year. And you can actually see my daughter, she's even playing in the garden, and I have my laptop standing, sitting inside. And I was filming her while I closed the door a little bit, while she was playing games. And she didn't have any issues at all, even when I went inside and I filmed her inside. Now you can also see that everything on the screen of the laptop also like moves the same way. So no issues there. That's why I also think a laptop might be a little bit better because the Bluetooth already is better uh, from a laptop normally than like if you're using a normal desk desktop there. Not the only thing, also it's portable, you know. So if you want to go and play it somewhere else at your friend's place or something, the only thing you actually really need to carry is then is your laptop and you need the power supply also and your PSVR 2. Now, the other thing I really want to mention uh, before I forget to mention, you do need to plug in your laptop for this to work like properly. You can try to do it without, but it's gonna need the electricity to like perform because it's gonna perform really highly. So it needs a lot of power there. Also, not only for the laptop, but also for the glasses there. So also do make sure you just plug it in. Now, that was basically it for the video peeps. If it was helpful in any ways, please do remember to leave a like and a sub. Keep yourself safe, guys, and we will catch you on the next one. Laters.